Hey, it's Tanya and I'm here with an art journal spread using quite a few of my new goodies that I have bought and yeah it's pretty simple what I'm gonna do so what I thought is instead of sort of saying oh I'm laying the stamps down now and I'm gonna get my stamp press and that's a old Fiskars one and you know I'm going to then place it on the page I thought I would give my as I like to call them my inexpert experience of the watercolor paint sets that I'm going to use because I'm using three of them and they're all very similar and I actually think that if you are somebody like me who's a hobbyist and enjoys dabbling in these things but doesn't want to spend an awful lot of money spoiler alert the uh, Mozart paint one the one in the tin there I think is actually really good value and you get a wide range of colors so let's start with that really cute little set there it's the one next to the white box at the top on the left <laughs> being very uh oh very uh, descriptive of what, <laughs> what I'm looking at it's it's a little pastel set I found it on Amazon and it's called the 18 pastel color travel watercolor set foldable and portable watercolor paint set for field sketch outdoor painting which is quite a mouthful and they, they don't make too many claims but they do make the claim that uh, these watercolor paints are in a small volume but have a large capacity smooth and easy to melt light proof and fadeless Oh, and they do, they do give you a recommendation as well. A perfect Christmas or birthday gift for both artists, watercolorists and beginners. So yeah, they are super cute. Very easy to, to fo maybe I should have talked about this one first. <laughs> so busy reading the, the Amazon description of the, because uh, it's so cute. Okay, basically what I've got going on here is I've got three watercolor sets. Uh, there is the Mozart one which is that big one and then the little white one is the Koi one and then that pastel set that I was talking about and what I'm doing here is I'm kind of comparing the neon colors because that Koi set let's go and give you a bit of a description of that okay Sakura Koi watercolor box 12 color field sketch set assorted fluorescent and metallics and it's actually on on sale at the moment on Amazon look at that so yeah so I wanted to compare the fluorescence and the metallics in this little set with the ones that come in this in the Mozart set because that also has as you see there neon colors and metallics and the like and I have to say they compare completely favorably the colors are very very similar and yeah I, I don't oh there we go there's the pretty little pastel set <laughs> it's so cute and yeah the colors are really pretty too there are I mean for the price point of that one you get quite a lot of colors and it it does fold away lovely and it comes with a water brush and all sorts of things as does the koi one so but the, the colors are very comparable again to that Mozart set you know there are maybe a few oh what creamier colors or pastel colors than in the the Mozart set and I actually do have a swatching of that on on my YouTube channel but honestly I mean I can't attest to the quality of the watercolor paints you know the color and oh the way it's manufactured or the light fastness or all that you know that expert knowledge I don't have that what I have is playing with it and working out what I like and don't like and yeah I gotta say they all three of them compared favorably and if you are looking I have a cat I apologize for that if you have been a long time subscriber of mine you might realize that yeah I get interrupted by cats often because cats are incredibly routine based and mine oh my gosh it got it down to a T. I get home, they greet me with great gusto, like they've never seen me before, and then I have to go and change out their food bowls and put new food in, and then once they've done that and they've gone outside and they've come back in again, the one comes to me for his cookie. And it happens every day. <laughs> and if he doesn't get his cookie, then he makes a, a big fuss of it. And a cookie is, you know, like a cat biscuit. It's, it's fish-shaped. 
how am I the fish shaped I don't know that's probably more for the owner's thrill than the cat's thrill but yeah so there we go I get interrupted by cats demanding cookies but that's not why we are watching this video we are watching this video because actually I don't know why you're watching this video <laughs> hopefully for the enjoyment of it and yeah I did I thoroughly enjoyed myself with these and yeah what I was saying before the cat rudely interrupted me is that if you are looking for a watercolor set which is affordable and has a lot of colors and has neons and metallics in it that most heart set is I think it's just fabulous I really am enjoying using it and I do have I do have others. I have the Prima watercolors. I have, I have some Schmincke, not very many. I think like one, and Cotman. You know, so that the more well-known professional brands. And yeah, I gotta say, for for what I for my purposes, uh, these these sets are just fabulous. And I was having so much fun coloring in these little stamps that I bought well they're not little they're actually quite large so yeah I was just oh doing watercolor wonders on this page and in a bit after I've gone through and I've actually sped this up six times so because otherwise I reckoned you would get bored out of your mind watching me try and you know get all fancy with my watercolors <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, what else can I tell you having waffled on about the watercolors? Oh, and if you, I do notice this, I don't know if you've noticed, there seems to be a gap in my, in my palette of those Mozart paints. It's actually stuck to the tin. <laughs> it's stuck to the lid of the tin. And I don't notice this until way, way, way into actually uh, coloring in. Gosh. And can I say, I had door watercoloring with neon paints they are just so much fun and they're vibrant and bright and oh it's just it's just oh there you see I noticed didn't put it back now <laughs> that poor yellow paint so yeah no I love neons and so I've been trying to see if there are other types of uh, watercolor paints that are neons you know that are in pans and not tubes but I haven't found any others yet um, so I'm really quite chuffed that I've got these and what else can I tell you? Oh, in a bit, I'm going to add in some printables that I've got. I have joined, oh dear, I know her name's Courtney on Patreon. Um, I can't remember what other name, but I'll, I'll give a link to her Patreon below and her YouTube channel because she does these most amazing art journal spreads and and she journals and she has these printables and my gosh they are absolutely adorable and i just i'm just loving it and including it and i even fussy cut a whole bunch of them out and yeah the fussy cutting and me we we're kind of becoming friends it's a bit of a yeah bit of a surprise really because because I, I hate oh here we go I hate fussy cutting and anyway I apologize for the sun but yeah aren't these the cutest most adorable little things you've ever seen I think they are oh, some people are just so talented and I've said it before this is the reason why people like me who want to be creative but battle to actually draw the cute stuff that's in their mind we can use these we can use stamps we can use the printables and we can get our art journaling on and have a good time in the process and yes these are some paint pens I did a review on them as well oh look at me going putting spots and blobs and everything on there I actually go in with my jelly roll pens there we go and use those because I do like the paint pens they actually put paint down beautifully but uh, I've also discovered jelly roll pens do as well so yeah, I, I, have, I have a bit of a pen obsession. I keep having to stop myself <laughs> from buying more because, oh, it's just so much fun having all the stuff that you can use. And you don't need all the stuff, obviously, it, but it is kind of fun having, having the stuff. So yeah, so all I'm going to do with the rest of this is add more l pen marks, I think trying to think I've got quite a bit of the video still to go and I can't think what I do but I think I just add more stuff onto it and then and then my page is done oh and I do I do a border all the way around it because I feel that finishes it off nicely and I, I'm not 
I didn't do any journaling on here because it wasn't really that kind of page. It was more a kind of, I want to create a fantasy garden with little creatures and interesting plants and that poor little weird bird whose head got changed into something else. I mean, that was just, that was just where I was going. And yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is just add in a bit of music towards the end of this video. And yes, if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe. And I will have all the links to the products that I've mentioned below. They are affiliate links. So yeah, you know, if you go and check it out and think they look like fun, oh, have fun. That's what I say. Have a lot of fun. Oh, and this is a jelly roll pen. And I've it's it's a point ten, and I find it works really really well on most media. So I'm quite impressed with that. Even you know, bought myself bulk bulk buy. But yes, I'll have all the links below, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. And yeah, I really hope we can do you know get together again and do one of these spreads because I just uh, yeah I really really enjoyed myself. So thanks again for watching, and hey, if you're new, hi. <laughs> and as per usual, we will chat again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.